Hi. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, teacher. Dinora, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Okay, welcome back one more time to Inglés Corporativo, Beginners Module 3. Today, Thursday, October 3rd. Okay, today we will finish this module. Congratulations, people. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Well, um, Okay, today we are going to start. Sí, pero en su orden, ya están mal colocadas las letras. Miren la la respuesta buena que tengo yo. Miren el ejemplo, y miren cómo lo puse abajo y me salió bien. Okay, let's get started today with this conversation. Uh, yesterday we just uh, listened the conversation, but we didn't practice with this conversation. So today we are going to study this conversation and practice. First, let me ask you, uh, mm -hmm. what do you see in the picture? Tell me, what do you see in this in the picture? Okay, the picture here. Uh huh. What do you see in this mm. picture? Describe the picture. If I ask you, where where are they? Where are they? Mm. Are they in an office? No. No. They in salon. Salon. Salon de belleza. Yeah, in English. Come on. Remember, teacher. How do you say belleza? Very still. How? Beauty. Beauty. Okay. Beauty. Beauty. So this is? Beauty spa. Beauty. It's the beauty. Beauty salon. 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 Yes. Salon. Ah, okay. Beauty. Beauty. Salon. Okay, good. What, uh, so who is this man? What, what is his occupation? 
Hmm. Sa Estelis. Aha. Estelis. Okay. Estelis. Okay. Is a hair stylist. He is a hair stylist. And the woman? In this case? Decline. What? Maybe the client. The client. Uh -huh. Client or customer. Okay, she is the client or customer. Okay. Um, and, and what is this? What is this? Mm -hmm. What is this? Mirror. Mirror. Yes, this is a mirror. This is a mirror. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is the man's wearing? Do you understand my question? What is the man wearing? For example, I am wearing a red shirt. I am wearing glasses. You're wearing what? Ah, the man is wearing a, a watch. Glasses. Okay, glasses. I will write it. A watch. A glasses. Glass, glasses. glasses. Green pants. Green pants, yes. Lipstick. <laughs> Lipstick? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe lipstick. <laughs> Lipstick says. Um, a t-shirt. A t-shirt, okay. A t-shirt. Okay, very good. Can you mention some products you can find in a hair salon? Can you name some products? Not this, this, we, we don't see the names here, but products you can find in a beauty salon. Just perfume, perfume, yeah, perfume, Tinte. okay, dying color, uh -huh. shampoo. Shampoo. Crema. Cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. Esmalte. Hay nail. Esmalte. Esmalte. Okay. Nail polish. Esmalte. Nail polish. Nail polish. Nail polish. Nail polish. Mm -hmm. Maybe Big condition. Cream. Sorry? In the victory? Pintura para... Okay. Dying, dying tint. Okay, so different products, okay? Very good, very okay. good. Mm -hmm. so this is just to practice some vocabulary. Now, let's practice the, the conversation. Okay? Listen. Okay. I'm going to read, only listen. Pay attention.
to the pronunciation, please. Okay. Pay attention to the pronunciation. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, okay. Now, listen and repeat, please. Okay. 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 So, Chuck, where did you grow up? So, uh, Chuck, where, where did, did you, did you uh, grow up? Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Texas. I was born there. And when did you come to Los Angeles? And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. In 1990, I went to college. College in college here, in 19, in 19, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Oh, oh what was wow. your major? Oh, what was your name? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. After college. That's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? That's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look. What do you think? Because, because I was making the money. money. I need the money. money. And I love what, what do you think? What do you think? Well, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well uh, do you think Melissa liked the no. hairstyle? No. She's Maybe not. Like. Yeah. She, she didn't like her hairstyle. That's why. Okay, very good. Now, uh, one question. Where did Chuck grow up? Where did Chuck grow up? In Texas. In Texas, yes. Very good. Where was he born? Where was Chuck born? In Texas too. In Texas too. In Texas too. Okay. When did he come to Los Angeles? In 1990. Yes, in 1990. What was Chuck's major at college? Drama. Uh -huh. Drama. 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 Okay. Drama. Major is a uh, especialidad. Okay. Especialidad. Um, what else? Why did Chuck become a hairstylist? Because he needed money. He needed money, definitely. He needed money. Okay. Okay, very good. 
Now, I am Melissa and you are Chuck. Just let me respond. Alguien me está preguntando por las capturas. Y ya están en WhatsApp. Um, solo respondo a esta persona. Ya están. Ok. Ok. I am Melissa, you are Chuck. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born in Texas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In when I was in I went to college here. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Uh, that's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? Because, because I'm I love it. I love you. Look, I love you. What do you think? What do you mean? Well, um, okay. Activar todos están activados. Now I am. Uh, you are Melissa, and I am Chuck. Okay. 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 So, uh, no, you begin. So, One, two, three. So, so, so where did you, you grow I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, oh, oh what was your mayor? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's, that's interesting. That's Do you, why did you become a high stylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, well, hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, now uh, I'll put you in pairs so you can practice the conversation two or three times, okay? Four, five groups. Please practice the conversation two or three times.
Ah, volvimos. Welcome back. Te lo gasta así, ¿no? una aplicación. Okay, any question with the conversation? Particularly in pronunciation or difficult word? Any question? Uh, eh, la pronunciación de 1990 era 1990. 1990. Remember the years? You, you say the years in groups of two numbers. 1990. Los años se dicen de, de 12 en 12. 1990, 1984, 1972, yeah, de 2 en 2. What's mayor, mayor? Mayor, mayor es uh, la especialidad de, del estudio. Ah, ok. What was your major? And he said drama. Esa era su, como la carrera, ¿no? La especialidad. Que no es, no es carrera porque es college. College no es, no es la universidad, es, es como un técnico. Uh -huh. College. College. Carrera. Yeah. College. Uh, college. Es, es lo que eh, en, en los Estados Unidos está después del high school. High school es el bachillerato. ¿Ya? Y después del high school viene el college o, o university. Pues ya university es, es otro rollo, ¿no? Ya es una, una Mayor. carrera. No. Una carrera ¿no? Como los larga. que estudian aquí en CEPA de Ajá. ITCA. ITCA es como un college. Uh -huh. Entonces para decir, para decir cuál es tu carrera en, 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 en inglés cómo se dice? Career. Uh -huh. Career. Career. Yeah. Your career or profession. Yeah. Car career. Or pro profession mm -hmm. career profession any other question with the conversation no no okay very good so I have some questions for you to practice um This. Okay. Some questions just to practice conversation. Okay. A short conversation. For example, uh, where were you born? Where were you born? Well, I was born in San Salvador. Number two, uh, where did you, where did you grow up? I grew up, recuerden que en la respuesta ya el verbo ven pasado. I grew up in eh, barrio Santa Anita. When did you graduate from high school? I graduated from high school in 1982. In 1982. What did you study in high school? Okay, I studied uh, biology and chemistry. Biology and chemistry. En aquellos años había ese bachillerato. 
Next, where did you go on your last vacation? Where did you go on your last vacation? Um, on my last vacation, I went to La Barra de Santiago. On my last vacation, I went to La Barra de Santiago. What did you eat for lunch today? Um, for I... lunch, I ate... Paradise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ate tuna, tuna fish, tuna fish. And what time did you get up this morning? I got up at uh, 5 a.m. 3 a.m. <laughs> I got up at 5 a.m. Okay. 5 a.m. What about you? What about you? For example, let's practice with one or two and then you're going to do it in pairs. Uh, let's see, Margarita. Where were you born, Margarita? I'm born in San Salvador. I was born, remember? I was born in San Salvador. In San Salvador, okay. Uh, Patricia Aleman, what about you? Uh, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I I gre, gre, grew grew I grew grew up in, I grew up grew in up. Reparto Santa Julia Santa, Santa Julia. Ana. Okay, in Santa Ana. Good. Let me ask one more. Gabriel. Yes. When did you graduate from high school? Uh, I did graduate from, from my high school in Inning, San Miguel. Ah, but listen to the question. When? I uh, went. Okay. When did I graduated. I was I graduated in twenty oh two. Okay, very good, very good. So in that way, I want you to practice with these questions. I'm going to put these questions in in WhatsApp too, just in case you cannot see the. Uh, Yeah. Okay, ya están en el grupo. So I'm going to put you in groups <coughs> to practice the convert practice talking with these questions. Okay. Blanca. Hola, hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Eh, ¿Puede entrar al grupo, por favor? No, 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 no me no. ha dado la publicidad. No. Vamos a ver. 
ver si trato de asignarlo otra vez acá. No logro entrar. O no, no le llega la invitación. Y aquí, perdón, pero solo me aparece el teléfono SMG55. Y es. What's your name? Eunice. Hola, Eunice. ¿Usted no. tampoco logra entrar al, a los grupos pequeños? No hay, no hay invitación, teacher. No le llega no la invitación. Vamos a ver. ¿Y ahora? Uh -huh. uh, pero me quedo sola. La vamos a mover. Ahí arriba. Ok. Hello, Gabi. Gabi. Es I got did, ¿verdad? I did. I, uh -huh. I did go. Así I es. Sí. No, 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 no. ¿Cómo sería correcto? El verbo en pasado. Went. Ah, exacto. I went. Ajá. I went. I went to el hospital en Chalatenango. Excelente. Así es. Ok. Okay, uh, Are, what time did you head out this morning? Ah, no, perdón. What did you eat for lunch today? I, I eat um, for lunch. I, 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 no. Perdón. <laughs> Yo comí, tengo que decir. Exacto. El pasado I, I eat. I ate eight eight eight. Mm -hmm. I eat for lunch um chicken. Okay, very good. Very good. Recuerden que cuando respondemos el verbo tiene que ir en pasado. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Bueno, eh, Eunice. What time did you head, head out this morning? Uh, 
I was graduate when uh, I was graduate uh, in Listen. 2002. Patricia. Hey, re remember. La otra pregunta. Hey. Listening. Remember that you, when you respond, the verb must be in past. I graduated. Okay. When graduated. When did you go in your last vacation? Uh, I was go. No, 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 Gabriel. Está confundiendo el, el to be con los verbos. Ok, recuerda que el, el was y where solo es el to be, el ser o estar. Yo estuve, ¿verdad? O yo fui de, de ser o estar. Was... Para decir... I was went. No, 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 no. I went. I no no went, se usan uh... los dos. Solo el verbo en pasado. I went to La Palma. Okay. I, I went to Cuco. I went to Cuco. Por ejemplo, para decir yo comí frijoles. I ate bean. Para decir yo estudié eh, matemáticas. I studied mathematics. Ok. Es el okay. verbo que vamos a usar en pasado. Teacher, pero o sea, se puede was, usar el I was. No es que el I was solamente es en, por ejemplo, en la primera, ¿va? En la primera, sí. Es mm. en la única. I was born. Porque va el where. Exacto. Ah, si va el did, va a ser, uh, utilizamos. El, 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 el verbo en pasado. El verbo en pasado. Ah, sí. todo mal. Ah, pues sí, teacher. Cero. Do it, do it again. <laughs> Ok, practice again. Ok, repitámoslo. Ok. Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. ¿Por qué no están en los grupos? No. No, no le oigo mucho a, a mi compañero. Oh. Y... A mí me ha costado entrar a la plata, a la plataforma al enlace. Oh, ok, ok. Miguel. Eh, Miguel le cuesta. Um, ¿Lo ubico en algún grupo, Joana? Okay. Ahí vea. ¿Verdad? ¿Para qué? Porque con Miguel no sé qué pasa. Sí, Miguel, como que tiene problemas de micrófono. Va, vamos a probar en un grupo. Aquí me dice que hay dos. Con el otro grupo. Sí. Mm. Okay. Y usted puede ver la, lo que compartió Ricardo. Sí. Yes. Okay. Sí. Usted ya eh. trabaja. Yes. Sí. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok, entonces bombardeo. Where did you? No. Sorry, teacher. Entonces hay que bombardear a Joana con preguntas. Ok. okay. <laughs> What did you study in high school? Uh, in, in, in my high school. Repeat that, that question, please. What did you study in high school? High school is bachillerato. Exactly. Uh, what did you grab? study? Uh -huh. I can... Mathematics, uh, mechanics. Yes. Health. I did. Mm -mm. I was. Mm -mm. 
I was. No, no. hay una maestra. Solo hay. Yo ah. estudié. I study. Studied. Mate, I study mathematics. Mathematics. In oh. high school. Okay. Good. Okay. Another question. What did you eat for lunch today? I eat, ate. Uh -huh. I ate panechucos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ahora se gusta pregunta usted, Ricardo. Um, where where you was? Where did you? I, I, I don't listen you. Repeat, Ricardo, please. Ah, uh, where, where, where you work? What? Where, where you born? Uh, I born in Santa Ana. Okay. Okay. I was born. I was, I born, was born in born. Santa Ana. Okay. Good. In... What did you eat for lunch today? I ate for in in my lunch panes chucos. Oh. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Okay. Keep continue. María de La N. Now, who? Who question? ¿Quién pregunta ahora? <laughs> who asks? Who asks? Who asks? Uh, who asks? Who asks? Who asks? Pregunto a Patricia. Okay. Dele, dele. Where were you born? Se ve el... Where you born? I was... In... I was born in Santa Ana. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Blanca. Where did you grow up? I I was grown up. Uh, no. No. Pregunta es where Okay, can you repeat the answer please, Blanca? I was brought up Barrio San Juan, Santana City. Oh. And I, teacher? Uh, no, no hay que usar el, el was en esa respuesta. Okay. I grew up. El verbo en pasado solamente. I grew up, exacto. I grew up. And... Oh my God. <laughs> okay. My cat was here. Yeah. Sí. Sí. Okay. Sí, very good. Eh, Patricia, when did you graduate, graduate from high school? I graduated from high school in 1989. Okay. okay. Very good. Y Blanca, what did you study in high school? I studied in high school. ¿Dónde estudiaron? No, ¿qué estudiaron? Uh -huh. I studied in high, in high school, Instituto Medellín Milagroso, in Santa Ana City. 
Well, the question is what? Accountant, uh, secretary, mechanics, or. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I studied in high school secretary. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Continue your work. See you later. Uh, Patricia, uh, where did you go on your last? Hi, Miguel. Mm -mm, I can't hear you. No le peguen sí, al niño. I'm sorry. Eso Pero dejan dormir, teacher. Sleeping, boys. Yeah. Ok. Frío, teacher. Con Ricky Martin entra en calor. Uy, no, 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 no. no. Sí. Nada que ver. Nada que ver. Ok. Uh, mm. Listen to this uh, short biography about Ricky Martin, mm. and then I will give you some questions to practice. Okay. 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 Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay, Ricky Martin. Um, now, I have some questions for you. about Ricky Martin. But uh, now I 
have the questions, but they are not in order. Okay, you have to write the questions in the correct order and then respond the question. For example, let me write this. The, let me activate your... What is the order, the correct order for this question? Where was Ricky Martin born? Where was Ricky Martin born? Born. Where was Ricky Martin born? Uh -huh. He. He the answer here. He was born. Born. He was. Was born. Born. In San Juan. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay. So this is the activity. Uh, I think we we don't have time to do it. Here, ya, ya no tenemos tiempo de hacerlo aquí juntos. Uh, lo pueden hacer ustedes, ¿verdad? En casa. Si tienen alguna pregunta, like, la pueden hacer en el grupo. Like homework. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para practicar. Ok. La otra semana ya no hay clase, ¿verdad? No, la otra semana no. Yo creo que mientras se hace el papeleo... Se comenzaría el, el ¿qué sería? 14. 14, sí. ¿Verdad? Probablemente el 14. Muchas gracias. Ok, a ustedes. Gracias, gracias. Teacher. Gracias por haber Thank estado. you very much, teacher. Y el 14 nos van a decir si quedamos con usted o Thank con usted. Thank you. Uh, sí. ¿Viste la última vamos. clase o falta más? De este módulo, no. allá terminamos. Hoy terminamos. No, finalista. Teacher, y uh -huh. los que no hayan finalizado a terminar el examen y no les parece la opción de imprimir, eh, ¿dan otro margen de tiempo aquí fin? Eh, creo que tienen mm, tal vez hasta el fin de semana uh -huh. para, para terminar la plataforma. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Porque ese es el, el pase para el siguiente módulo. Tienen que terminar la plataforma. Ok. Ok. Eh, agradecería sus comentarios, ¿verdad? Acerca de la clase ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, por cualquier sugerencia, ¿verdad? Para, para mejorar para próximas oportunidades. Me sentí ahí se la vamos a dejar, chico. Me sentí como los de Tigo cuando le hablan a uno. <risa> Ok. Thank you, teacher. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gabriel, por ahí veo la hermanita levantada. No sé si quiere algo. Sí, teacher. Este, estábamos ahí en, el, en la anterior. De, eh, quedé confundido en, Ajá. en los verbos pesados. En los verbos. Dígame. Eh, ¿Verdad que con el did tenemos que poner el, el verbo en pasado? Exacto, exacto. Es que Solo cuando el were, uh -huh. es que vamos a usar was. Vamos a usar was o where. Básicamente usted se haga una división de, de los verbos. Uno, el verbo to be. Esa es una cosa, ¿Verdad? El verbo to be, was o were. Ahí no usamos did, para nada. Ese es solo ese verbo. Ni estamos usando otros verbos en la oración. ¿Verdad? Hmm. Ok. I was born in Santana. I, in the morning I was in my office. Uh, they were uh, uh, in the park. Ahí no estamos usando otro verbo. Y lo otro es con todos los demás verbos, ¿verdad? Para las preguntas con todos los demás verbos usamos el auxiliar did y las oraciones negativas, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Pero 
en affirmative sentences usamos el verbo en pasado. Ok. Ah, ok. I went to the beach. ¿De la playa? Affirmative. Negative. I didn't go to the beach. Mm, okay. Yeah. I didn't go to the beach. Question. Did you go to the beach? Mm -hmm. Did you go to the beach? Mm -hmm. Where did you go? Where did you, you go? go? Okay. El verbo principal ahí es go. Ahí no aparece go. el to be. I went to the beach. I went to the beach. Ahí no aparece el to be. Entonces son dos cosas que tenemos que tener ahí separadas. Ok. 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 Thank you very Gracias, much. Teacher. Ok. Thank Have a good no, night. Una, no, teacher. Hola. Nos gustó su modalidad de... De trabajar con usted porque usted nos enviaba antes de la clase que íbamos a ver. Por lo menos así Exacto. teníamos una noción de lo que íbamos a ver, ¿verdad? No entrar así como que, oh, ¿qué es eso? <risa> no gustó. Por lo menos a mí sí me gustó. Sí, estuvo. Que adelantara. Eso, es, eso está muy excelente. Sí. Ok, thank you. Es muy Nos adelantamos. En la clase. Ok. Um, la superación. Muchas gracias. Ok. okay. Eh, esta semana que no hay clase, practiquen. ¿Verdad? No se den. Ay, qué chivo, vacación. No, no, no. Oh, los niños de, de, la, no de, la, de los cuadernos. <ríe> no, cabal, cabal. Verdad, lean, repasen, ahí tienen ejercicio. En la plataforma, si ustedes entran a la Esa no, no, no se la cierran a uno, ticha. No, 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 no. Siempre tiene acceso a ella. Siempre tiene acceso a ella. Que ya no tenga la clase. Plataforma. Y en la plataforma, fijaron, hay una sección donde pueden buscar más, hay más gramática. ¿Verdad? Sí, una pregunta, una compañera dijo un día de esto que se podía grabar ¿no? para oírse el, el, la pronunciación. ¿Y esta dónde entro? Porque no, yo estuve buscando, pero no, no, no lo ubiqué. Es, es un sitio... Que se llama Bocadú. Bocadú. Ajá. Bocadú. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uh, estoy tratando de ubicar aquí. Aquí abajo, donde dice Centro de Ayuda. ¿Están viendo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, va. Donde dice Centro de Ayuda. Ahí ustedes ingresan. Vamos a ver, matar la pieza un poquito, voy a cerrar algunas cosas. Y aquí, aquí miren, donde dice grammar. Ahí hay muchos, muchos, aquí están los recursos académicos que ustedes pueden practicar. Usted grammar, entró al centro de ayuda, ¿verdad, Tichi? Centro de ayuda. Sí, sí ahí aparece todo eso. ¿verdad? Grammar, pronunciation, vocabulario mm. y videoconferencias. Mm -hmm. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Para, para leer y para practicar. Ok. okay. Thank you, teacher, very much. Ok. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye, Goodbye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Take care.